sex, whether it is before marriage, whether it is after marriage, whether it is done during marriage, is no longer a sin. Any preacher saying that sex before marriage is a sin is an enemy of the Phoenix work and it's not really. That if, you are, if you are just holding yourself saying that you want to, this is when you get married, that is when you have sex, you are just holding yourself for nothing. It has nothing to do with holiness, it has nothing to do with righteousness, it has nothing to do with purity because Jesus already nullified sin on the cross. Hello and welcome to Eagle Eye Open Heart Global Outreach. The Bible tells us some of the things that will happen in the end time, one of which is false teaching. Olakunle, beloved, Jesu Kale, aka End Time General, who is the founder of End Time Revival Evangelical Ministry, has come out with a teaching that fornication is not a sin. He does not even believe that sin exists to those who believe in the finished work of Jesus Christ because according to him, Jesus has destroyed sin on the cross. He believes in extreme grace. He publicly proclaims that sex before marriage is not a sin. In a video he posted on YouTube, he said, I quote, Sex, whether it is before marriage, whether it is after marriage, whether it is done during marriage, is no longer a sin. Any preacher saying that sex before marriage is a sin is an enemy of the finished work and he is not real. End of quote. He said that for someone to say that you have to wait until you are married before you can have sex, I quote, is not only a sin but a religious lie. End of quote. He posted a flyer of the message and wrote the following on the official Facebook page of his ministry. I quote, Shaking the same tables of religion on this one and unmasking the lies about sex. Warning, this video sermon is only for those who connected to the finished works of Christ and those who desire to understand the grace of God. It is not for the religious, hardened and perfectionist hypocrites. Prior to all the lies they have told this generation, this video shall give you the insight to understand what Jesus did on the cross and the application of that as it relates to sex. Watch with a single eye and listen carefully to the explanations with an open mind. End of quote. Please watch the video yourself and I will see you after this clip. God designed that He created sex to be enjoyed. It means that sex is safe. It's a gift from God. It is not a bad thing. It is not a wrong thing. It is a gift from God. But how did we come to this level where people are now saying that you have to ensure that if you want to even want to have this sex at all, you have to have, have it between the confinement of marriage. This is nothing but this is nothing but heresy. This is lie. This is a religious lie that we have been told in this generation. This is a religious lie that has caged many for years. God created us differently. People have different urge, different urge. Some people have a strong urge, while some people have just a moderate urge, some have a low urge. God created us, created us, created us differently in a different way. And so, for somebody to come and say that it is until you. And it is until you are, are within the confinement of marriage, it is until you are married, that is when you can have faith. It is not only a sin, it is a religious lie and a deception from the devil. Everything God created was good. Everything he did was good until the devil came and sowed the seed of religion into humanity, in the, in, you know, into the heart of humanity, and people started relating by religion. Let us look at this thing from the mindset of Christ and not what anybody has said. What God said in the Old Testament. What God said, even some of the things that we saw in the New Testament, is different from what God is saying now because grace is progressive, revelation is progressive, and we have to understand the mindset of God for us presently. As I said earlier, sex itself it is not a sin. And then let us look at the word sin. Sin died on the cross. By the time Jesus Christ died on the cross, he died for sin once and for all. This is, this, is, this is why I said this, this discussion is for those who are under grace. 
He died for sin once and for all. He nailed sin to the cross, and that was that was all about about the finished works of Christ. He nailed sin. The Bible says that he said because of this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that He might destroy the works of the devil. That is, He destroyed the works of the devil. What was the works of the devil? Sin was the works of the devil. The religion was the works of the devil. He, 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 he eliminated it completely. He destroyed it completely. And this is what we are we are talking about here. So if sin has been eliminated on the cross, if the power of sin has been destroyed on the cross, then why do we not hear? Why are we still having a mad mindset of sin that has already been destroyed instead of renewing our mind in the understanding of what Jesus has done? If sin has been destroyed, then that means that this sex before marriage that people call sin is no longer a sin because of what Jesus has done on the cross. Sin has died and, and so there is no sin anymore because before God, Jesus has become that Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the whole world. He taketh it away completely so that people can live in a life of liberty and a life of grace. The reason why many people usually say that it should be done in marriage, it is because the act of sex itself, it's a covenant. That is, whenever you whenever you have sex with someone, then you enter into a covenant. That is a covenant binding you and that person together. It's a covenant itself. And so, because of their religious mentality in those days, they feel that since this is a covenant, definitely you can only have it with somebody that you have been covenanted with. That is, when you are married with someone, that means you are a covenant with that person. And so, they say that that is the only person you have to have it with. But that is it. That was in religion. That was not in the era of grace. They were said that in religion. But now there is grace, and sin has been crushed. Sin has been destroyed. There is liberty and freedom for people. People don't need to wait until they get married before they can have sex, if they understand the finished works of Christ. But for those in religion, they will continue to wait and wait and wait and say that until they get married. That is when they will not have sex. This is nothing but a religious mentality, and God is no longer operating in that dimension anymore. If you are, if you are, if you are just holding yourself, saying that you want to, this is when you get married. That is when you have sex. You are just holding yourself for nothing. It has nothing to do with holiness. It has nothing to do with righteousness. It has nothing to do with purity because Jesus already nullified sin on the cross. He already removed it once and for all, and that is the truth about grace and about the finished works. The Bible wants engaged false prophets who will lead many people astray. First Timothy chapter 4 verses 1 and 2 says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of demons, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. The sin of fornication and adultery is a very serious sin according to the Bible. Christians know very clearly that it is a very serious sin. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verses 18 and 19 says, Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without body, but he that committed fornication sinneth against his own body. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own. Please do not be deceived. Heaven is real, and hellfire is real also. If you are a Christian, do not follow false teachers who go about corrupting the word of God because of personal gains. Follow your Bible so that you will not end up in the same place of everlasting torment with them. If you have a daughter or a son, even your wife or husband, that is attending this church, please tell them to stay away. If not, this false teacher will harden their hearts against God. It is very dangerous to believe that sin does not exist at all. There are many preachers, big men of God, big in quote, who believe this doctrine of extreme grace. They believe that Jesus Christ has destroyed sin and that they are saved and since they are saved, they are always saved. This is a lie from the pit of hell. Please do not listen to any man of God, any prophet, no matter how many miracles they do. If they tell you that sin does not exist because Jesus Christ has destroyed sin, please stay away from them.
they are leading millions of people to the fire of hell. I want to use this opportunity to call upon Khan, Christian Association of Nigeria, to look into some of these teachings because these people are calling themselves pastors. They are operating in the name of God. If the Bible that unites all the denominations and all the churches together under one umbrella of the Christian Association of Nigeria, if somebody is attacking the Bible, that unites all the denominations together. I think that person should be called to order. Please, as you watch this video, share this video. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Eagle Eye Opener, and also on YouTube and Instagram, Eagle Eye Opener. Thank you and God bless you.